Hello, my fellow scientists. Welcome to another episode of Science is Everywhere, the home edition. My name is Marie Lanka, and I'm with the Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose. And we are kicking off our Fun with Colors Week with optical illusions. We can bring color even into science. To be fair, you can bring anything into science, but I digress. So optical illusions, those are some pretty big words. Let's start with that and then we'll get down to the pictures below. Optical has to do with your eyes. I don't know if anybody has ever heard of going to see the optometrist. That's the eye doctor. So optical has to do with your eyes. Illusions are some things that you think you see but may not actually be there the way you think you're seeing them. <laughs> you may hear this word used with magic. You're going to see some illusions and some magic today. So we're going to be talking about those two together, optical and illusions. So things you see that may or may not be exactly what we think we're seeing. <laughs> so really quick, in order to get into that, let's talk about how our eyes and our brains work. So we have, first of all, a light source. This could be the sun. Let's start with the basic one. This is something that shines onto objects, like, for example, I have a pen there, okay? This can also be a flashlight. This could be a light bulb, just something that gives you light. Once those light beams bounce off of whatever that thing is, they then go to your eye and your eye takes in all of that information. It then sends it to your brain, which has to figure out what exactly you're looking at. All right, so down here is where optical illusions are gonna come into play. So our brain is looking and seeing things so fast all the time. Just think about just the room that you're in right now. There are so many different objects. The actual room itself, you have to know how much space is in it so you don't end up walking into walls, something silly like that. When you're outside, when you're playing, you have to make sure that you're paying attention to the things that are going on around you to keep you safe, as well as maybe the game that you're playing. All of this stuff is happening with your brain all the time. That light bouncing off of objects, in your eye, in your brain, your brain trying to make sense of it all. So what it does in order to process all this information is it starts to come up with shortcuts on how to assume things. So for example, it knows a light or light is going to bounce off of an object like a ball in a certain way. So that you know that's the top of the ball because the light's there. That's the bottom of the ball because the shadow is there. And it starts to take those shortcuts with a lot of things. So it can pay attention to things that are what it needs to focus on. Okay. So in order for us to go ahead and do these optical illusions, we're gonna to start to fool the brain into using those shortcuts to make it think that something else is there or that something else is actually what we're looking at. So we kind of confuse it just a little bit, which is fun. So what are we gonna do to do all of these experiments? We're gonna do three different experiments and here's what we're gonna need for all of them. First of all, we're going to need piece of paper, or you can use cardstock, just something that you're going to go ahead and draw on, and that's going to be for all three. You're also going to need, for the first and the second one, two colors, okay? So this will be my first one, this will be my second one. <laughs> for those, you're going to need also a ruler, and then for the last one, you're gonna use the ruler and the paper, but we're gonna get a little more specific with that. We're going to need a black pen, and if you have a gray pen that works best, brown pen will work as well, okay? And there's a reason why those two colors are very important for that, and we'll get to that when we get to that experiment. Now, you may notice really quick that I have some washable markers and I have some permanent markers. The only reason for that is because I don't have these colors in washable. I highly recommend to get washable markers for all of this. Um, it just makes it a little easier for cleanup. But if you need to use permanent, that's okay. Just make sure that you have thicker paper or that you have paper underneath it so if you accidentally go over, it's okay. All right, so let's get into our three optical illusions 
and make some ways to kind of fool the brain into thinking that it's seeing something that maybe it's not. Okay, my fellow scientists, so let's make some optical illusions. So we already kind of talked about what you'll need. Um, so I have those things laid out here. I'm going to try and do my best <laughs> to keep up with my friend Heidi. By the way, if you haven't seen any of her um, art activities, please do check them out. They're really awesome. And I've had a chance to learn a little from her layout. So I'm going to see how I do with this. Okay, so we've got our pieces of paper, we've got our pens, and we've got our little ruler. So let's do these one at a time. We're going to start from the simple and go up to something that is pretty cool. We're actually going to move around a little to see. Okay, so I'm going to clear out and keep. Let's start with the green. And here's one of my pieces of paper. So I'm going to turn this to landscape. Uh, some of you may also know this as hot dog, <laughs> and that's okay too. And here's what we're going to do. So you're going to take your little baby ruler, and if you have a bigger ruler, that's okay. And we're just going to set that down, and we're going to make two lines here. We're going to make two lines that are the same length. So we're going to keep this really simple and just make them as long as the ruler is here. So we don't actually need to measure out inches or centimeters. So I'm just going to put my hand down, make sure it doesn't move. Draw one line up top. And then go underneath and draw another line. Oops. Underneath there. Okay. So they're both the length of the ruler, so we know that they're equal. When I pull that out, we have two equal length lines. Okay, we can see that right away. Brains are figuring that out. Okay, so now here's where we're going to start tricking our brain into thinking that maybe this isn't what it really is. So your top line, I'm going to have you do an arrow like so. Okay, if you want to type up that top, you can there. Then do the same thing with the other side. Okay, so far so good. All right, so after that, you're going to go ahead and with this line, you're going to make the opposite side. So this way we went an arrow this way. Now we're going to go like the back side of an arrow, like this. And do that with both sides. Now look at those two lines. Do they look like they're the same length anymore? That's your brain again, using some hints that it may have learned by looking at corners, by looking at different lines, that if something is this way, it's going to be shorter, or something is this way, it's going to be longer, when actually we know because we made the lines that they're the same length. In fact, if I were to cover those up again, I can't really cover up this arrow, but if I go to the tip there, I go to the end there, I do the same thing on this side, there you go. You can still kind of see they're the same, although this kind of pulls you into it. Okay, so that's one very simple optical illusion. So let's try a different one. So go ahead and put this away for now. Get your second piece out. And we're going to get our ruler back, and this time we're going to draw three lines. I'm going to take a different color, just because it's fun. <laughs> and I'm going to do one line up top. Again, just the length of that ruler. Let's see if I can do a better job. One line there on the other side. Okay. Go ahead and pick that ruler up. And we know it's the width of this ruler, right? Okay, go ahead and put that on the end there. 
like that. Okay, so just like I would have drawn the line there, hold that down and then draw one more line there. And you can go ahead and move your ruler. Okay, so they're all equal distance apart. And the way I know is because I measured using this ruler here. When I put this down, this ruler is equal on one side widthwise and equal on the other side. So I know that these lines are the same distance apart, right? Okay, so how am I going to change that? How am I going to fool my brain? Well, we're going to add some more lines. So for the first line that you did, you're going to go ahead and make slanted lines. And we're going to go this way. And can, you can already kind of get a feeling for movement now. It almost seems like that line may be going a certain direction. Then leave your middle line alone. Go to the next line and do the same lines that way as you did on the top here on the, the other side of it. All right, so the middle one now we're going to do lines going the other direction. So since we went this way, here and here, now we're going to go that way, the other way. Okay. So go ahead and I'm going to see what I'm doing there, how they're going the opposite way. And you almost start to get the feeling as you're doing this, like these lines are traveling one way or the other. Now something else is also going to happen. Now that we've done these lines and they're flat, here's what I want you to do. I want you to pick this piece of paper up and tilt it in a certain direction. Now you're really going to start to see something happening. Focus your eyes on one side and see what your brain is telling you without stopping the, you're going to keep your eyes here. What is your brain telling you about how far away it is over here? So we're looking at this side. It should look like it's getting smaller and wider depending on which side you're looking at. Okay, same thing here. So we'll focus here. Focus on that side of your paper. That looks like it's closer together, these two than on the other side. And that's all optical illusions happening. Okay, one last one, and this one can actually be the coolest one in my view. All right, so you're gonna take your piece of paper, and this time we're gonna go portrait. You may have heard of this as hamburger as well. And that's okay, we are gonna fold this. So, I'm gonna start from the top and just fold. So it's going like so, okay, and go ahead and open this up. Okay, so you have kind of a line in the middle, right? All right, I'm going to take my ruler again. And unfortunately, I don't have washable markers that are in black and brown, so I'm going to need to use my Sharpies. But please, if you have washable markers at home, those are the best to go. If you don't, you may notice I'm, you know, again, we're using cardstock here so that doesn't see through. All right, really simple. Just gonna make one, I'll move it over just a little bit. And what's nice about this uh, ruler is it's uh, translucent, so I can kind of see through it a little bit. And I'm gonna make another line just like that. Okay, over the middle of that fold. Okay. And that should be your lighter color. I used brown, you can use gray. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a kitty corner line <laughs> that goes off this way. And again, you can kind of see through what I'm doing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this line, this first one, from that top part right there to the fold. Okay, so watch what I do first, and then you can give this a go. Let me get my head out of the way. <laughs> okay, pick that up. 
So that's what that's going to look like. Okay. Then from that middle line, right there where I stopped, I'm going to come down to that outside line again. There we go, just like that. All right, now I'm going to do another line out like I did here, out on that side. Okay, try and keep it as close as you can angle wise to the other one. Yes, you can. Again, this is, you know, we're, we're playing with art, so. Maybe a little different, there we go. Then from this bottom line, you're gonna go up to the middle like you did before. There we go. Okay, now I've got those. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more lines using this middle fold to start me off. So I'm gonna start making lines that kind of look like stairs. Okay. And you're gonna do the same thing going this way. Again, just like stairs. You wanna make sure that it's the same um, parallel to this line or equal to this line. So you see how I'm not going like this? Make sure it's going straight across the best you can again. This is not a test. <laughs> this is art. I want to make sure we have fun with it. And that should be good. And what you're going to do is then go ahead and darken this up just a little bit. Will you still have that black pen out? And if you get little tails, a little sketchy, that's okay. See, then that'd be perfect. Now, if you're left-handed, and actually some right-handers, we have a problem with this too, is you may be dragging your hand over parts of these lines, and it may be coming off on this part. Sometimes I find it's helpful to put on some gloves so that you don't end up smearing. If you just have some mittens, just something washable. Sometimes it helps. Okay, so now that we have those, I'm going to go back to my brown. And again, if you have gray, that's okay too. And I am going to do the same lines up this way as I did here. So you can use your ruler to help. You don't necessarily have to have it. So start with that middle line like you did before. Okay, now I'm going to put the same lines here as I did here. And what I mean is I have one, two, three, four, five, six lines going down black. I want to make sure I have that many lines going down brown. And I'm going to line them up with that. So if you want to do it this way, you can. If you just want to go ahead and estimate, eh, it's about there. That's perfectly fine too. Okay, now once we start getting to the bottom, once you get to that black line, you're going to stop. Let's finish that up just like that. Okay, okay, same thing with the top. And this time, since we're going this way, I am going to use this just to kind of help me out. And you'll also see how they're all the same direction as that middle line. That's on purpose too. Okay. There we go. All right. So now when this piece of cardstock, or if you have paper, that's okay too, is flat, this looks like we have a brown ladder going down and kind of a broken black one going this way, right? All right, so let's now experiment with this and see how this could change if I was to change the angle of this paper. Okay, are you ready? 
Okay, scientists, so I've taken this piece of paper and I've kind of folded it along that line that we made before and I propped it up against a corner. And I'm sorry, this is a little bit shaky, but you can see how it's now folded up against this corner here. And you can see our brown ladder and our black broken one. All right, so now let's change the angle that we look at this and see if we can trick our brains into seeing something else. You ready? Okay, here we go. And all I'm doing is turning this to the side until we see that. What do you see now? It kind of looks like a black ladder with a brown shadow. That's our brains using some information that it knows with shadows and angles and light on what it might be seeing now. Even though we knew when we drew this, that's not what it was. Try that with yours. Pretty cool, right? Okay, good job, my fellow scientists. We went through and did three different types of optical illusions. Again, using all those little shortcuts that your brain knows and when it comes to corners and light and all of that and making it think that it sees something else. So again, we've got our arrows, two lines that were actually the same length, but because we use these angles, these arrow marks, they look different. We have our three lines with our hashtags, our little diagonal lines that look closer or further together when we added those lines. And then we also have our ladder, which changed from one side being broken to the other side being broken or looking like a shadow, and uh, how different angles and things like that work for each and every single one of them. So go ahead and try these at home if you didn't, weren't able to do them along with us. Um, and also send us some of yours. We'll put some hashtags down below. We would love to see other optical illusions. There are a bunch of them out there um, that you're able to do at home. And have fun with your colors while you're at it. A lot of times that has a lot to do with shadows and things like that that your brain thinks are there or actually just a different shade of color that you're using. So again, have fun. Hope you enjoy. And thank you for tuning in to Sciences Everywhere. We'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list by visiting www.cdm.org. Sign up today.